All right, looks like we are live. <laughs> How is it? How's your Monday going? So I'm gonna very quickly um, share this video in my group and on my personal profile so more people can take advantage of the valuable information that I'm gonna share tonight. Let me know if you share your videos, if you do videos on your personal profile. A lot of network marketers freak out about sharing it <laughs> uh, with their friends and family. Oh, I see somebody here already watching. Good seeing you, Judy. Hello, hello. So if you want to appear on my screen and um, disrupt that red wall behind me that I hate, <laughs> and you want to put some turquoise color on my screen and on your screen, say hello, and I'll put your comment right there on the screen, right? How cool is that? So I'm looking for my group to share this video. Very quick, it's just gonna take a minute, a minute, couple seconds. Ooh. Oh my God, there it is. Come on. Oh, that's not the right thing. How come I, I can't share? <laughs> I can't share anymore. All right, let's go back. Share, more options, copy. I told you guys, I'm not very technology savvy here. Okay, let's go back. There you go. Paste, go, go paste, and post, done. <laughs> okay, now maybe I need to share it on my personal profile too, right? Why not? Okay, done. Okay, thank you for hopping on live. Say hello, who you are, where are you watching from? And I have some exciting news for those who have watched my video last week where I shared how to stop drowning in a small talk if you're talking to your prospects and how to get straight to the point and ask them to look at your opportunity or your products without being that slimy salesperson and actually how to make them want to look at your opportunity. That's the problem uh, most of us have that our prospects don't want to look at our opportunity, right? If you have this problem where you have prospects, uh, you approach them, but they actually don't want to look at your opportunity most of the time, let me know in the comments. I certainly can relate to that. And during that video last week, I promised guys to give you screenshots of my personal conversations with my prospects where I can get them to look at my opportunity after about fourth or fifth question. That's it. Maybe even third. Uh, it's very quick. I'm straight to the point. I don't like, you know, all this small talk, talking about weather, dogs, kids, blah, blah, blah. I even forget who said what. So, uh, and I promise to have the screenshots <laughs> for those who wanted them. So whoever commented on that video, don't worry, I will send you that information. It will be posted in the comments of that video. So you don't have to have to go and look for it and if by some reason you did not watch that video and you're wondering what in the world i'm talking about uh, i can give you access to this right now oh that's not the right link oh my goodness what am i doing here let me grab the right link i almost i don't know shared something that is not even relevant that would be embarrassing, right? <laughs> so the link should be in the comments. Let me know if you see it there. All right, so uh, today actually, somebody asked me a very good question when I was telling how to get your prospects actually to want to look at your opportunity. And Shelly, she asked me a very important question and I was like, oh my God, how I actually forgot to mention it. So before you talk to any prospect, and here's the thing, uh, we conditioned, we programmed to think that everybody is your prospect. Have you heard this phrase before in network marketing? Everybody is your prospect. Share your opportunity with as many people as possible. Um, that's definitely what I heard. <laughs> definitely what I heard. Um, and I used to be like a spamming bot 
I don't want to say spamming, but I was constantly thinking how to share my opportunity with my neighbors, with my kids' teachers, with my friends, with my kids' doctors and nurses, and UPS guy, <laughs> and the mail guy. I mean, it was constantly on my mind, constantly. And to tell you the truth, I kind of didn't like it. I felt like it was like possessing my life. I, I wanted to be normal again, but at the same time, I wanted to build my business, right? And if you constantly hear, share your opportunity with everybody, everybody is your prospect, and you want to be coachable, and you want to do what you're taught to do, you get confused, kind of like, I want to build my business, and I want to enjoy building my business, but I kind of don't anymore, right? Have you been in that situation? I definitely have, and it's not fun, because you start questioning, uh, did I make the right decision, right? Yes, it doesn't feel genuine, Tanya. Absolutely. When you just start chasing people and thinking everyone is your prospect, it stops being enjoyable. And you feel like, well, I'm just another uh, slimy salesperson. And people are going to feel that energy and they're going to reject you. And that's even going to hurt more. So in order to avoid that, there is one wise mentor told me, stop thinking that everybody is your prospect. They are not. They're absolutely not. Not everybody needs, needs your cream. Not everybody needs your necklace. <laughs> not everybody needs your dieting pills. And this is absolutely truth. So when I finally figured out who my perfect prospects are, my life got so much easier because I started focusing on looking only for those people who are already interested in doing home business or losing weight or improving their health and stuff like that. So your life is going to be so much easier when you know who your perfect prospects are. And here's another part, um, building rapport, absolutely. So, and here's another part, when you know who your prospects are and you start focusing on speaking only to those people, actually those who are not your perfect prospects, they th you're going to repel them automatically. They're just not going to be uh, there anymore. But the problem is what network marketers do, we keep marketing to friends and family and posting on our personal profile thinking, oh my God, somebody's going to notice it. I know people are looking. One day somebody's going to click and they're going to you know, join my team <laughs> and they're going to explode it. So, and it's not happening. Uh, and we start wondering what's going on. So when you keep marketing to the same group of people where only 5% are maybe interested, and big chance they already bought your products or join your team. So the rest of them are not. And when you keep marketing and annoying those kind of people and you're not getting results, um, you kind of start questioning whether or not you're doing the right thing or made the right decision, right? So here's a, and, but when you actually start building a network of you, only your perfect prospects, imagine that you're going to have a following of people who want to be healthier, who want to find out how to lose weight, who want to do that exercise that you're trying to convince people to do, or who want to get, a, to get rid of their skin problems. What if you start building a following of only those people? Imagine how a lot easier your life is going to be when people actually want to hear your information. Imagine if I was doing this video in, let's say, Dogs Lovers Club. They will be like, what in the world she's talking about? Why? We don't need to hear that. So exactly the same thing your friends and family thinking when you're constantly posting and posting about the same stuff that they are not interested. And you're probably noticing it when you post about your family, about your kids, about your vacations birthdays you have tons of likes and comments but as soon as you post something about your business it's like ghost town right <laughs> that's what's happening so instead of focusing on friends and family that's what most network marketers do and kind of like killing your business unintentionally you need to start building your following of highly qualified prospects so first thing you need to know who they are <laughs> and it's very simple to do and in this training 
that I just finished creating like exactly three seconds before I pushed the live button. <laughs> That's what I was working on. It's all nice put together. Uh, you will get a nice PDF that step-by-step -step gonna tell you uh, not just how to make those people look at your opportunity and want to look at it, but also how to figure out who they are and where in the world they hang out, why they're not on my page, <laughs> how to get them on your page. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. So that's exactly how I build my page. And that's how come you guys come to look at my videos, watch my videos, and not, let's say, my next door neighbor, Susie, who is not into network marketing, right? So that's exactly what you're going to learn in this simple PDF file. Um, it's like five pages. It's straightforward. And you will get those screenshots that I promised you in the last video where exactly in about four questions, I ask my prospects from the moment they accept my friend request. I don't even, you know, I only known them for a couple of days. They've been my friend on my personal profile. So from only five questions that I ask them, they do want to look at my opportunity and they actually come on one-on-one -on -one video call with me where we talk about my business. <laughs> so if you want to get those screenshots and if you want to get that endless prospects guide, let's see if I can paste it again or it's there it is again in the comments. Grab it, it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything or do anything and you will get instant access. So eventually in the perfect world, you will also get an email with that guide because right now you it's not hooked up to any emails yet. <laughs> I just didn't have time, but you will get instant access. So you don't have to go open your email. As soon as you push that button, it will show up on your computer screen and to save it it's downloadable you can click that download button and it will download on your hard drive so you're not going to lose it but in the near future possibly tomorrow you will get it in your email as well because i'm going to finish <laughs> what i've started but because i had to go live i just didn't have time to <laughs> connect that to the email to your email but anyway so first thing you need to know who those prospects are and the second part, Shelly asked me, well, how asking me this question can be related, how me asking them about their pains can be related to my business? Well, here's the thing, and it's actually one of the biggest secrets of attraction marketing. Before you talk to any prospect, you have to know not just who they are, right, who these people are, but what their pains are. So you have to know what, they need in their life what doesn't what keeps them awake at night what is it they want to fix in their life how you can help them to do that this is very important so here's my biggest secret and it's so simple that you're like oh my god really <laughs> really uh, before I talk to any prospect doesn't matter whether it's about products or my business opportunity I already know what their pains and struggles are and my number one goal is in that conversation, and Adventure probably knows that because he's a high ticket closer for even Tony, Tony, <laughs> Tony Robbins and some big uh, gurus. Uh, he knows how that works. Before you even talk to them, you need to know what their problems and struggles are. And your number one goal is to make them to bring those pains and struggles up. So as soon as they tell you what is it they're struggling with, what is it that they want to achieve, you know exactly how to go from there. And when you uh, expose their pain, they become vulnerable and you are the one who needs to step up and be that problem solver. So as simple as that. And when you see those screenshots, how I guide that prospect with three or four simple questions uh, and only knowing me for two days, into looking at my opportunity you will look at those screenshots and you will say oh my god this is like <laughs> the most simple list if you can say that way i don't know i just uh, ruined english right there uh show empathy yeah absolutely this is another part after you established uh, after you expose their pain show them some compassion and tell them that you can relate to their pain 
we all can relate to their pain, right? That's why you're in this business. That's why you bought those problems because you had exactly the same problem that they are having right now. And this is secret number two. I'm revealing too many secrets. Your perfect prospects are exactly that person that you were before you joined your company or before you found your product. So go back before you joined your company or started taking your products. Why did you buy those products? Uh, what kind of problems you wanted to solve? Right? Or why you joined your business? Those perfect prospects have exactly the same problems that you had whenever <laughs> you were looking for your opportunity. So here's we have some cool, uh, <laughs> Cool tips that Adventure share in three C's to close clarity, conviction, and certainty. See, I have no idea about those three C's. I use different C's. <laughs> I use expose pain, show compassion, and um, what's my third one? Well, and ask them if they want to know how you doing it without that pain that they're going through right now. So that's it. How you achieve that goal that they want to achieve without the pain that they're going through right now. As simple as that. So it might sound like a bunch of blur and bunch of just talking. When you see those screenshots, you're gonna understand that it's very simple. When you learn how to guide that conversation with questions and actually listen instead of talking, it's all gonna get a lot easier for you. So stop convincing your prospects that your opportunity or your products is what they need and start listening to them and being an influencer. And this way, actually, the, their decision or their decision to join you or buy your products will be actually their idea and not yours. And you will be just a messenger <laughs> who showed up in front of them at the right time. And they will be like, oh my God, I'm so thankful that I found you, not the other way around. They wouldn't be thinking that you were actually looking for them and chasing them. They will be thankful that they found you. That's how it works. So if this information was helpful to you guys, let me know in the comments, drop me some love. Uh, since Facebook uh, don't want us to say certain words, that's kind of awkward, right? Uh, like, was it you, Tanya, that said, pass the pearls? <laughs> We're gonna start using pass the pearls. <laughs> I love it, I absolutely love it. So grab that um, endless prospects, um, PDF if you want to see what I'm talking about and how you can implement it in your business. And that's it for today, guys. I'm really excited. I'm ready for this week. And I'm, of course, I'm up to something all the time. So I'm going to let you know because I'm working on a bigger project. I'm always working on a bigger project <laughs> because I just can't sit without. There you go. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, I just can't sit and just wait when magic is going to happen. I create magic. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for today. It was good seeing you. Thank you for all your comments and support, and I will see you next time.